Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet, here with you for One Whip Wednesday and some happy mail. So I will see you in a second. Natalie's Closet. Okay, so welcome back. As I said, this is Natalie with Natalie's Closet. Welcome to all of our new subscribers. We have had several since Monday and even a few since last night. So I'm so, so excited. You guys are just all awesome. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your time here. And of course, a big welcome back to all of our regular subscribers. I so appreciate every single one of you. And we are so close to our goal. I mean, from right before I posted this, according to the YouTube app, because it's one before the studio app for whatever reason, um, we are at 998 subscribers. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So as soon as we hit 1,000, I'll do the drawing and then that will be my next video. Probably tomorrow because I'm not going to have time to record another one today, but if I do, I will. So... I'm so excited. Thank you all so, 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 so incredibly much for all of your support. You guys are amazing. I really do appreciate it. Uh, today I am sporting my um, merch top, Natalie's Closet on YouTube. I know I showed it to you guys back a couple months ago on one of my lives when I first got it. Of course, it matches my Natalie's Closet uh, project bag. And I'm sporting my really bling um, earrings that I absolutely love. So I'm kind of blinging it out a little bit today. Because you guys are going to learn, I love bling. Uh-oh. She may see a squirrel or a cat outside, so she may start to bark. Let's hope not. Anyway, so first I'm going to go ahead and show you the progress on only the one project that I've been able to work on. And that has been limited this past week. Things have been crazy, and ever since posting the hashtag Christmas in July um, fairies video, or announcing that um, whole giveaway event, things have been just like crazy and trying to stay on top of stuff, and plus work, and you know, just daily life. Uh, so I really haven't had a chance to crochet much. I think I've only added about six. Um, sorry guys, I gotta, I don't know if that affects the video or not at all. I hope not. Uh, but anyway, um, what was I saying? <laughs> um, and, oh, I think I've added like six, maybe seven rows to the second Adeline shawl that I have. And no, I still haven't sewn in the ends and or blocked the first Adeline. I know, I'm bad. I'll get to it, I promise. I don't want to get to it. But I've got to get to it because i got to get it up on Etsy or up on somewhere. So anyway, my hair's kind of doing something funky today. But I'm always saying that, aren't I? Anyway, so I will show you the progress on the second Adeline. Um, oh boy. <laughs> I have the um, cake just kind of in there and it's floating around and getting untangled. Or it's getting loosened, I should say. I've been having a problem. I have a pair of fingerless gloves, which I don't wear it on my right hand because I don't need to. I wear it on my left hand because my hands are so dry. But the thing is, is my tension changes so much. I, it's like I have a hard time being able to control the tension with the glove on. And so I noticed it was getting really loose. I mean, like, I have a Hulk grip. And it was like insanely loose. So I was like, you know what? This just isn't going to work. I mean, I had like no tension and, and it's really, it's really strange. I just, I can't explain it, but well, I mean, I can, I can't really feel the yarn in between my fingers. So it is what it is, but I switch, I went and switched back to not wearing it and just loading up my hand with um, <laughs> hand cream. But uh, I'm hoping it hasn't really affected, it hasn't affected the yarn that much, but um, this is where we are now. Like I said, I think I only added like maybe six rows or so. Um, that's it close up. Again, this is a beautiful pattern. Uh, the pineapples are starting, I think, to take shape now better. Here's one right here. And I, I really think that you're able to see the pattern a little bit better in this yarn versus the other one with the confetti yarn. 
the yarn worked up beautifully in the pattern. It's just you don't see the pattern as much. So I'm really excited about this. I think it's going to look great. And I really need to get working on it a little bit more. And I'm, I'm really going to try. I really am going to try for next week, I promise. So that's it for whips right now because that's the only thing I've actually touched outside of I think I caked a couple of um, skeins of yarn, but that's about it as far as touching yarn. I know. I haven't had much time with my yarn in a week. How sad is that? I love my yarn. I have some yarn right here that's nice and squishy, but okay. Anyway, let's get on to the Happy Mail. Uh, this is actually two acquisitions, I think. I'm almost positive I know what's in here. I was trying to sit there and feel it. Of course, I squealed at the mailbox just what I do, but I was trying to see them like, what is this? Cause I thought it was from Amazon and it doesn't say anything about Amazon. So it's from a third party. That's fine. But I'm like, I don't know this person. Did somebody else send me something? But I think I know what it is because then I got a notification two days later that it was delivered. Really? Anyway. So maybe it's not that maybe it is some kind of a surprise. Maybe that has been delivered now. I haven't been to the PO box. And I may not actually be able to go today. Not not able to go, but I have had no need to go out today. Um, which doesn't happen, like, ever in the last seven months. I don't think there's been one day that I haven't had... Oh, okay, maybe there's been, like, a day here or there. But that I haven't had to go out at least once during the day. So I was, like, so super excited. I mean, I was working on stuff in the house and whatever. But, um, okay, I'm so sorry. I'm, like, chattering on and on. Oh, no, this is this is what I ordered from Amazon. Now, there are two things in here. However, I'm not showing one of them because one of them is being sent to someone. Yeah, I know that someone knows who it is. Just the way it is. But, yay! Okay, I don't know. You all know I'm a Clover girl. I started out with Susan Bates. Well, I think I started out with Boy. And then I loved the inline... Um, hook with Susan Bates. Loved it, loved it, loved it. But it's just too thin My and my hands were cramping up and stuff. And then I kept hearing about Clovers and how it changed people's lives. And I was like, seriously? So I went ahead, the set was on sale, I think. So I went ahead and I got the set. Oh my gosh, did it make a difference? I mean, between the way it glides through the yarn and the speed and the control and everything, I love it. A total game changer for me. Well, I also hear about the tulips and I had ne I thought I had tried a tulip, but I guess I didn't. I must have thought I was trying something different. I must have thought I was trying it, but I tried something different. So I decided that I was going to go ahead and get a tulip. I had a gift certificate. I, oh, one of you amazing, amazing, amazing friends of mine sent me an Amazon gift card. And thank you so very much. You know who you are. <laughs> um, and I went ahead and I used it uh, towards this. And so I went ahead and I got a tulip in a 4.5 millimeter because that seems to be this, the most used um, hook size that I've been using with my fingering weight yarns. Um, but it is a tulip. Okay, it came in this box. But the thing is, is oops, upside down. Um, I saw that it was a tulip, but I forgot that it was made by Edamo. And I asked my friend, I said, okay, well, what's the difference between the um, gold tipped tulips with, I think, the black handle and the rose tulips, which has a silver tip and a rose colored handle? And she said, honestly, I think it's just the color, which of course she knew instantly which one I was going to get because I have a preference to silver. I don't know if you've ever been able to tell that, but anything I ever wear is typically silver. So I was like, well, I guess the rose one um, wins. Now the other thing is, ooh, I wonder if this is gonna bug me, but um, I noticed that with the gold tipped ones, it seemed like it was, it was like labeled differently as far as the size. Maybe I was just not reading it correctly, but this is um, a 7.5, slash zero 4.5 millimeter tulip so yay for that i'm so excited can you see it all i think so but the one thing i'm wondering about is 
on the clovers, I've never noticed. Okay, they have, this is like indented, like the E, or where it says F 3.75 millimeter. It's like indented into the rubber. On the tulip, it's it's out. Can you, I don't think you can, why is it not focusing? That's weird. My camera normally doesn't have a problem focusing. Okay, I, I don't think you can see it, but it's raised on the tulip. And right where it's going to sit, I wonder if it's going to bug my hand right there. I guess we'll see. I'll have to sit, work with it long enough. Ooh, I can use this on the Adeline because this is the hook size that I'm using. And as long as, I mean, honestly, the tip is the same, looks like. Uh, but yay, I'm going to finish the Adeline with this hook and we'll see how that goes. Um, but anyway, so that was one acquisition. So excited. So excited. I can actually say I tried a tulip and actually mean it. Because, <laughs> I, like I said, I thought I did, but I didn't. Because I, I know it was, I, anyway, it doesn't matter. So that is really exciting. I'm very happy about that. And I'm sorry, but you're not seeing the other thing in the box. I'm not trying to be a tease, I promise. I mean, I am really good at that, but that's not what I'm trying to do. I promise. So then the next happy mail is my second box of David's tea. I think I was telling you about that when I opened the first box. I've had this since like Saturday, I think. I've really wanted to get into this tea because they didn't have it originally when I placed my first order when they had the no shipping. And then like later that day when I got a free shipping's almost over because they they don't do free shipping typically. I mean, they do it every so often, but... Um, I got an email and it included this tea, so it's uh, it must have updated or whatever. So I, and I was out of it, and I'm like, oh my gosh! So since Saturday, thankfully the tea that I got last time that I showed you a few days ago, I love. Oh my gosh, I love. I can't remember the name of it to save my life right now, but um, this one I know I love too, and I think there was a replacement. Well, I. I contacted them and asked them if they had a replacement to my travel mug that also has the infuser in it. And they said they didn't, but they had something very similar. And they actually were kind enough to go ahead and take care of that and send it. Sorry for all the crinkling. You all know I opened my boxes on camera, like completely. Um, all right, so here's the envelope that has the label. They always send a label because I normally get enough that I get a free tin. And so this can go on the tin to identify what tea it is because I have like seven of these tins. Yeah. So, um, except like two of them were actually the tin for that tea. So, ooh, this is a, okay. How much, what did I get? Oh, interesting. Okay. I got eight ounces because I, I had gotten, um, I had two free ounces of tea with them. And that, that's like their rewards thing. Once you reach a certain level, they give you two free ounces. They also give you a free glass of tea. Well, that's wonderful, except the closest David's that I have, I think, is like in Miami. I am crazy enough to drive to Miami for a shopping trip, like for the day, but not to get a glass of tea. So um, I've always told my mom's best friend in um, Chicago that if she ever wanted, because she discovered David's with me one time because they have one near her house and I told her if you ever want to go in you know just give them my phone number you can get the free tea and um, anyway so this is cherry lacuma it is delicious the only thing is I don't think they have it anymore so sorry <laughs> but that's why I had to get eight ounces um, that what I thought was weird is this is a larger envelope so I thought maybe they did four ounces in here but it's just a larger two ounce uh, vacuum sealed thing. But here is the free tin. I'm so sorry for all the crinkling. They don't, the last one I don't think had it in there, but this is the free tin that comes with it. And that's why they give you the label, which is awesome. And the first time I got it, I didn't realize what they did. I thought, okay, why are you giving me labels of this? So I threw them out. Whatever. Live and learn, right? So this, oh, I wish I thought to bring the outside of it. I got this when I first discovered David's Tea, so a couple years ago. And I will show you what I'm talking about. 
It's an iced tea press, but this is for iced tea. But they told me that, hmm. Okay, this is what it looks like in one thing. And the green is their signature color, okay? And it gives you all the directions and, and the best way to make the iced tea and stuff. But, sorry guys. Wow, that was tight. Um, this is the part that I was actually needing. Wait a minute, where's the, oh, it's in here, okay. If you see, this is the infuser, okay? So you put the tea in the bottom, right there. Then you go ahead and pour in the tea. Now there's different markers. There's one here, if you do the one to here, oh, that's why they have it there. If you only fill up to here, because this is an iced tea infuser, you only fill the water up to here, and then you put this down until it reaches almost, like right into the water, and then you let it seep for however many minutes the tea suggests. Then you go ahead and you push it down. And what it does is it keeps the tea leaves down here and it keeps it from continuing to steep. But then you can drink it and travel with it. No problem. I mean, it's awesome. I have i don't know, knock on wood, I don't know that I've ever had it spill. Well, I got the, the, the hot and cold one is a metal, metal exterior, um, an insulated metal exterior. And it comes with this inside thing. Well, this over time, yes, I clean it after each use, but it was getting like caked up inside here and stuff. And this wasn't like draining as well. So I let them know that and they said over time that can happen. And so they went ahead and they, you know, took care of it, whatever. But I need to make sure that this actually fits into my travel one because that would be awesome because it literally keeps it hot for like ever and cold for okay not forever i'm probably going to say realistically speaking it'll keep it hot not like scalding hot but hot for eight hours roughly iced um again it'll keep it nice and cool for a long time so anyway i know this isn't a tea show <laughs> or a tea channel but i love david's tea so, um, anyway, and they're, oh my gosh, they're my favorite, favorite, favorite all time tea was luscious watermelon. Oh, it was so delicious. And then after like the first two years, it went away. I can't find it anywhere. And that sucks. Seriously. I mean, I would like, I, I would look anywhere, maybe not anywhere, but so I'm so excited about this. You have no idea. And if for whatever reason this doesn't fit, which I, I have no reason to think it wouldn't, they told me it would. Um, I'll just have an iced tea one, which is totally cool because most of their teas, well, all of their teas can be made iced, but some of them are designed to be better iced. So anyway, yay. I'm so excited that I got this. I've been waiting for this and wanted to wait to open it on camera because I have fun doing this. You guys may not care about happy mail and stuff, but I love sharing stuff with you guys. I mean, I think it's fun. And for the most part, that's what I get as far as a response from you guys, that you enjoy it too. So I hope you enjoyed this and learned a little bit about David's Tea in the process. Um, so if you have one in your area, I would definitely check it out. There are a ton of different tea shops and stuff. Um, some of them are, are okay. And, and or, I mean, David's is just awesome. And it's so bright and cheery when you go in there and they have free samples of tea, which I think most tea shops do. But... Is awesome but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like just whatever video <laughs> it was a whip Wednesday I did show you a whip so I'm not going against the title um, and there was happy mail well it made me happy anyway <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed and again thank you so incredibly much for all of the new um, members of our channel, I really appreciate you guys coming to check us out. I hope you enjoy it, and um, I will see you guys soon. I will probably, okay, I'm not going to jump the gun and assume, but I'm guessing the 1,000 subscriber winner video will be fairly soon. So I'm so excited. I'm so incredibly honored that you guys have all been checking out checking my channel out and wanting to spend time with me. Thank you. It, it really humbles a person. So thank you so, so much. I really greatly appreciate it. I will see you guys soon, possibly with a video tomorrow for the giveaway winner. 
If not, then I will see you on Friday with our next Getting to Know You episode, lucky number 13. So remember, if you have any questions for me, whether personal, yarn, crochet, whatever the case, Miley, whatever the case is, leave it in the comment section below. Any of the videos at any time, if you ever have um, ideas or comments or whatever the case is, let me know because the reason I do the Getting to Know You is... I'll ask you guys sometimes a question and you guys will be answering me or somebody will ask me a question and then I'll answer them or ideas are shared, but not everybody reads each other's comments and there may be things you would actually like to know. So that way for the whole week from the previous Friday until the Friday morning of the next video, I take all the comments and I figure out what it is that may be interesting and then I share it with you guys so you guys can also be privy to the answers I'm getting or the questions I'm getting or the ideas and suggestions and stuff. So I hope you enjoy that. Wow. I keep going on. Anyway, uh, thank you again so much. Remember for every season, there's a reason to crochet. I love you all dearly. Thank you all so, so much for your support, your love, your prayers, your hugs, your everything. You guys are awesome. I love hugs and prayers go out to all of you. So I will see you guys soon. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. Bye.